Good morning children. Hope you are safe at home. Today let's start with unit 3 and the name of the poem is There is the key of the kingdom. So let us read this poem. There is the key of the kingdom. In that kingdom there is a city. In that city, there is a town. In that town, there is a street. In that street, there is a lane. In that lane, there is a yard. In that yard, there is a house. In that house, there is a room. In that room, there is a bed. On that bed, there is a basket. In that basket, there are some flowers. So children, if you see, all these lines that we have read are in a sequence. They are all connected with each other because the words are going from big to small. First, there is a key of the kingdom. Kingdom means the entire large kingdom like the world. In that kingdom, there is a city. City is the small part of a kingdom. Then in that city, there is a town. So in a big city, there is a small town. So as we are reading each line, we are coming to things which are smaller and smaller. Next line, in that town, there is a street, a road. In that street, there is a lane. In that lane, there is a yard, an enclosed place. In that yard, there is a house. In that house, there is a room. So inside the house, there is a room. Now next what will come? In that room, what is there? There is a bed. Now what is on the bed? On that bed, there is a basket. And what's in the basket? In that basket, there are some flowers. So, from kingdom, we are come to the smallest thing of flowers. But all of these are in a sequence or a chain. They are all connected to each other. Now, in the next stanza, we will say the same lines. But, now we will say them from small to big. So, we'll start with flowers and end with kingdom. Let's read them. Flowers in the basket Basket on the bed, bed in the room, room in the house, house in the yard, yard in the lane, lane in the street, street in the town, town in the city, city in the kingdom and this is the key of the kingdom. So have you seen children? Now we have said the same lines but we started with the last line from the first paragraph. We started with flowers and we ended with the biggest thing in the poem which is kingdom. 
list all the things mentioned in the poem in two ways. First, from the smallest to the biggest. So, smallest was flowers and biggest was kingdom. So, let's list them in an order. Flowers, basket, bed, room, house, yard, lane, street, town, city, kingdom. Now, same way, list the things mentioned in the poem from biggest to the smallest. So, now you have to start from kingdom and end with flowers. Kingdom, city, town, street, lane, yard, house, room, bed, basket, flowers. In question 2, put the following chains in the proper order. You can do it in any one way. You can start from the smallest and go to the biggest or you can start from the biggest and go to the smallest. The choice is yours. Now here I have done it from the smallest to the biggest. You can do whichever way you want. The first shirt, car, man, pocket, highway, pen. Now these words in the chain if I have to arrange from small to big, smallest will be pocket. Then comes pen. Then comes shirt, man, car and the biggest will be highway. Second question, seats, container, container means a bowl, house, kitchen, dried chili. Smallest here will be seeds, then dried chili, then container, then kitchen and lastly house. Next, letter, word, bookshop, story, storybook, paragraph, sentence. Again, small to big, then the smallest will be letter. A, B, C, D is letter. These will form word. So, word will be next. Many words will make sentence. Many sentences will make paragraph. These will make a big story. And story will come in a storybook, which will be in the biggest which is the bookshop. Next, tail, hair, mountain, cave, bear. Smallest will be hair, tail, bear, cave and the biggest mountain. Next, grain of corn. This means a single piece of corn. Field means the entire field or khet. Plant, stalk means the stem. And ear of corn means the entire cob of corn which we call butta. Now if I have to arrange, smallest will be grain of corn. Then year of corn, stalk, plant and field. Just like we made words starting with smallest to biggest, all which are linked, you can use your own imagination and make similar chains of 3 to 5 related things and list them according to their size. Write where each of the things can be found. You can use the help of the words that were there above or try and make your own chains. Do this as your homework.
read the instructions and write other words related to the given word. First one, kingdom. Write other words that begin with K. You can try making your own words starting with the letter K. For example, key, kettle, kite, kangaroo, kick, keep, kid. Second, city. List the occupations of people in a city. You have to name at least 10 occupations. Occupations are the jobs that people do to earn money and make a living. Different people work in different fields and do different jobs. Name some of these occupations. At least 10 in your own words. For example, doctor, teacher, nurse, lawyer, waiter, dentist, businessman, postman, policeman and architect. Next, town. List the different kinds of buildings that we see in a town. For example, some buildings are libraries, some are hospitals. So what all buildings do you see around? Mall, hotel, restaurant, supermarket, office, cinema hall, school, college. Street, write other words with a similar meaning. So you have to write words which also mean street. Road, lane, way and route. Next, lane. Write a few real or imaginary names of lanes. So you can write the names of the lanes if you know some or you can make your own names of lanes as imaginary ones. For example, Park Lane, Juhu Lane, Arthur Lane, Apollo Lane, Fort Lane, Yard. Mention different locations for the yard of a house. For example, on all sides, to the left. Other ways can be to the right, front yard, backyard. Next, house. List some of the things you find in every house. You can try listing your own things. Sofa, table, chairs, bed, fan, tube light, door, bell. Room. Write the names of different types of rooms in houses. Living room, dining room, bedroom, kitchen, bathroom. Some people also have a temple room in their house. Bed. Make meaningful words by joining this word to the words given here. Bug. Room, cover, sheet, river, time, flower. So if you add bed to bug, you get bed bug. If you add bed to room, you get bedroom. If you add bed to cover, bed cover. Add bed to sheet, bed sheet. River to bed becomes River bed. Bed to time becomes bedtime. And bed to flower becomes flower bed. I have given you some more words which you can make. Death to bed becomes death bed. Bed to clothes, bed clothes. Bed to spread, bed spread. Bed added to quilt, bed quilt. Bed added to stand, 
bed stand. These words that are joined together and make a new meaningful word are called as compound words. Next, basket. List the things that you can put in a basket such as flowers, fruits, vegetables, toys, gifts. And the last one, flowers. Write the names of different kinds of flowers. You can write the names of the flowers that you know. Rose, lily, jasmine, lotus, sunflower, daisy, lily. Try writing the names of flowers that you know. In all these answers, you can put in your own answers that you know. And you can use this as sample. Try doing this on your own children. That is all for today. Thank you and have a nice day.